in my last video about Deontay Wilder, I was talking about potential future opponents for him. And one of the names I mentioned was David Hay. And I said that I would actually make Wilder a slight favourite to beat Hay, maybe like 51-49. And quite a lot of people think that I'm getting carried away now with Wilder and that because of the victory over Stavern, I'm rating him more highly than I should be. Well, that's not the case because I was saying that I think Wilder can beat David Hay before the Stavern fight. And the Stavern fight has given me a bit more confidence in that. Yes, but I was still saying it before the Stavern fight. I said it in at least one of my old videos and I've been saying it to people on Facebook for quite a while. And let me tell you the exact reasons why. First and foremost, I think David Hay is vastly overrated as a heavyweight by many people. That's not to say he isn't a good heavyweight. He is a good heavyweight. I just think he's not as good as people make him out to be. I remember when he was supposed to fight Tyson Fury. I thought the Fury fight was a very dangerous fight for David Hay. So many people were saying, oh, Hay's going to knock him out easy. This is not competitive. I never saw it like that. Go back and look at my videos leading up to that fight. I always saw that as a very dangerous fight for David Hay. And I thought people were seriously overrating what David Hay can do against big heavyweights. Name me one big heavyweight that David Hay has beaten who wasn't slow and plodding. There isn't any. I mean, you could say Audley Harrison, but <laughs> that's Audley Harrison. The big heavyweights he beat, I mean, there's only one, Valuev, who was extremely slow. When you put David Hay in there with a big guy who's athletic, it's a whole different ball game. And let me tell you David Hay's whole game against tall fighters, and most fighters in general, but particularly against tall fighters. This is David Hay's whole game. It's very one-dimensional. He circles around the ring, moving his head. He waits for a guy to fall off balance, and he jumps in with a right hand. That is it. That's all David Hay does against tall heavyweights. There's nothing else to it. There's no double work your way in with a double jab, throw a hook, go to the body, you know, set certain things up, wear a guy down. David Hay don't do none of that against tall heavyweights. He just circles around, waits for the guy to leave himself exposed, jumps in with a big right hand. It is such a basic game plan. It's so predictable. Okay, it's so, so predictable. And the only thing you have to watch out for with Hay is not to get caught when he lunges in. That's it. And you saw with Vladimir Klitschko, he neutralized what David Hay was doing very, very easily. He didn't have to do anything spectacular. He just took a step back. Yes, it's Vladimir Klitschko. We know he's a supreme athlete and what have you. But he didn't really have to show all of his talent against David Hay. It was so damn easy. Just, just read the signs of when Hay's going to leap in, take a step back, Hay will miss. And because Hay's balance is so poor, he can't follow up after he lunges in with that big right hand. There's nothing after it. It's going to be the, exactly the same with any big guy that David Hay fights. It's going to be exactly the same thing. If they can just read when he's going to throw that right hand, step back, he's going to miss by a mile. He's not going to follow up with anything. And just like with the Stavern fight, Mark Breland and Wilder's other trainers are going to say to him, look what Vladimir did. We're going to try and emulate that. I mean, why, why wouldn't they? They're going to try and do the exact same thing. Now, obviously, Vladimir does certain things better than Wilder, but Wilder also does certain things better than Vladimir. I think Wilder has got the physical attributes and the athletic ability to pull off the same basic game plan that Vladimir Klitschko did against David Hay. Okay, I don't see why not. And people talk about this sparring footage. I mentioned this in the previous video between Hay and Wilder and they get they get carried away. I mean, they see five seconds of footage which was edited to make David Hay look good. <laughs> you know, David Hay admitted that and then they think, oh, because of that, David Hay would wipe out Wilder. No. David Hay himself said that 
the full sparring session was very competitive and Wilder more than held his own. Uh, uh, Gary Logan also said the same because he witnessed the spa. Okay? So this, was, this wasn't a one-sided spa. There's nothing that I've seen of David Hay or subsequently from Wilder to make me believe that Wilder wouldn't hold his home with, with Hay in a professional fight as well. And one of the things that David Hay actually said after sparring Wilder, he said that Wilder hits harder with 18-ounce gloves on than Vladimir Klitschko does with 10-ounce gloves on. Now, you might say that that's just David Hay trying to mess with Vladimir. You know, him and Vladimir got this rivalry and they don't particularly care for each other. So maybe he's just trying to annoy him or whatever. And that could be the case. But me personally, I think that Wilder probably does have a stronger right hand than Vladimir. Vladimir's got a tremendous right hand. But Wilder has got longer limbs and the speed that that right hand comes in with, the way he's able to get leverage on it and whip it in is terrific. It really is very reminiscent of Tommy Hearns, like a heavyweight version of Tommy Hearns, the way he can whip that straight right hand in. It's a beautiful shot. So I wouldn't be surprised if it is actually harder than Klitschko's right hand. It certainly, to me, seems faster the way it comes in. So I think he does have the physical attributes to pull off a game plan that could beat David Hay. I'm not saying David Hay don't have a chance. Hey, just like I said at the beginning of the video, I see it as a 51-49 type of fight, but I would be picking Wilder in the fight. You know, I think David Hay is overrated by many as a heavyweight. He's got a very, very one-dimensional game. What big tall fighters has he beat? Valuev, slow plodding guy, you know, Audley Harrison. I mean, please. And he wasn't even competitive against Klitschko. So, nah, I, I think I think Wilder would take it, man. I'll be picking Wilder in that fight. And you know me, if I don't have an inkling in terms of who I think is going to win a fight, I'll sit on the fence. There's a lot of people out there saying, oh, you can't sit on the fence. You have to pick a winner. Why? That's not being real with yourself. If I don't know who's going to win, why am I going to pretend that I do? That's not being real. You know, being real is saying I don't know who's going to win. If I've got an inkling one way or another who's going to win a fight, I'll say. If I don't, I'll say I don't know. <laughs> you know, but with Wilder and Hay, I'm leaning towards Wilder in that fight. You know, if they were to fight even next particularly when Hay has been off for so long, you know? He's been off for a long, long time. He's not going to be sharper than he was before the layoff. He's not going to be better than he was beforehand. He's going to be worse. And Wilder's improving all the time. So that's my take on Deontay Wilder against David Hay. I would actually favor Wilder. Drop your comments below. It's all about styles, people. It's all about styles. It's not me thinking that Wilder's invincible. He's not invincible. No fighter's invincible. I'm just looking at his style and his attributes against David Hay. And that's it. <laughs> I'm not talking about him against this, that, and the other. I'm just talking about him against Hay. I think style-wise, he beats Hay. And some people have mentioned Fury as well. I think Fury has got... He's... I don't know. I, I, I like the way Fury fights on the inside. Okay, I think he's, his inside game is more developed than Wilder's inside game is. And he's maybe a little bit slicker than Wilder. But Wilder's more of an athlete. That's one thing I really don't like about Fury. Comes in fat, overweight, looks sluggish against Chisora. I, I would like to see Fury the way he was against Kevin Johnson. And that's when he was really sharp and his jab was popping and he was putting combinations together. I like that Tyson Fury. I, I haven't been impressed with the Tyson Fury I've seen lately in terms of his speed and what have you, because he's just been way, way, way too fat. I need to, they need to get his weight down, man, and get his speed back up. Then I'd give him a better shot against Wilder. But as it stands currently, I would pick Wilder over Fury. I think speed would be the, the, the big key in Wilder versus Fury because they're both big men. They both got good jabs. I would say overall, you know, uh, Fury's skill set is a bit more developed than Wilder's is. But Wilder with that straight right hand that he can throw from long distance, he can cover a hell of a lot of ground and hit you with that shot. And we've seen Fury drop with right hands before. Nevin Pike has dropped him with a right hand. Steve Cunningham dropped him with a right hand. And he's been caught with right hands in other fights. And yes, he has improved. 
But he's never gone up against a right hand like Deontay Wilder with that type of speed and power. He's never seen anything like that. So I think that Wilder, Wilder's speed would make the difference against Tyson Fury. And I think he'd beat Fury uh, right now. So that's just my opinions. It's not because of the Stavern. I'm not just getting gassed because of the Stavern fight. No, Wilder showed us certain things in the Stavern fight that we didn't know about his stamina, about his chin, about his ability to stick to a game plan. So he ticked all those boxes. Okay. Yeah, his chin uh, still a slight a little bit of an open question because, as I said, he was rolling with a lot of the shots that Stavern was hitting him with. He was rolling with those punches. He wasn't taking the full impact, and that's a good thing. That's a good thing that he has that skill. But at the same time, it doesn't mean that he could have taken Stavern's full power if he ha if he hadn't been rolling with the shots. You get what I'm saying? So that's you know, I mean, with it's the heavyweight division. Most of these guys have got the power to knock each other out if they catch them correctly anyway. <laughs> so it may be neither here nor there. But nonetheless, that's my thoughts on Deontay Wilder against Hay and also Fury. Drop your comments below. It's your boy Hatman, I'm out.